Every contract is an agreement, but not all agreements are contracts. Confused? Let us explain why. To encourage us to make more videos like this, please like, share and subscribe. We will really appreciate it. Thank you. A couple of weeks ago, we talked about non-binding agreements, where an agreement can exist between the parties even though the same was not intended to be binding at the first place. We'll share a link to that video in the description below. For agreements where the parties intended it to be binding and valid, it must be made by the consent of the parties competent to contract for lawful consideration and with a lawful object. It can be either in oral, also known as a gentleman's agreement, or written form. In every contract, they must always have four ingredients, namely an offer, an acceptance, a valid consideration, and an intention to create legal relations. An offer is an indication of one's willingness to do or refrain from doing something that is capable of being converted by acceptance into a contract. An advertisement or a display of goods is not an offer. It is simply an invitation to treat. In such a situation, an offer will only exist when one chooses to make a purchase premised on the conditions as stated in the advertisement, say 20 ringgit for an Americano. The seller can then choose either to accept or reject the offer. Because an acceptance is an agreement to the terms set out in the offer, it must take place when the offer is still standing and on the same terms it was offered, which is 20 ringgit for an Americano. The offer and acceptance must be made by free consent of the parties. In other words, it must not be caused by coercion, undue influence, fraud, misrepresentation or mistake. Once there is an offer and acceptance, technically there is already an agreement intended by the parties. However, it is still not a binding contract until and unless the third and fourth ingredient exists. Consideration is simply the exchange of something of value for the parties. Simply put, it has to be something that the parties have agreed to exchange at the time the contract was formed, ergo, the Americano and the 20 ringgit. The absence of any consideration or if the consideration is illegal will render the contract void. For example, an exchange of illegal substance with a cup of Americano. An intention to create legal relations is an intention to enter into a binding contract. Such intention can be ascertained from the terms of the agreement or the party's conduct. However, in Malaysia, there are laws that disqualify certain people having the capacity to create such legal relations, such as minus or one with an unsound mind. Whether one is of age to contract would also depend on the types of contract he enters into. For example, a 16-year-old cannot enter into a contract for a mortgage but can enter into an employment agreement pursuant to the Children and Young Persons Employment Act 1966 or even a scholarship agreement. Once all four ingredients exist, a contract would then be formed. However, not all contracts are valid contracts. When the terms of the contracts are uncertain, the agreement is rendered void. When the object of the contract is prohibited by any written law, the agreement is rendered void. For example, an agreement to partner with a group of robbers to carry out a heist at the Royal Mint or an agreement to export illegal substance is deemed void. In Malaysia, the Contracts Act 1950 regards certain objects of the contract to be void, such as an agreement in restraint of merit, an agreement in restraint of trade, an agreement in restraint of legal proceedings, and so on. So, to recap, a contract would have an offer, acceptance, consideration, and an intention to create legal relations. The object must not be unlawful, and the subject of the contract must be certain. Before you hold someone accountable for an agreement or promise he's made, 
Use this as a checklist to determine if there is a valid contract.